Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Maxi's Kitchen. My name is Max Loon and if this is your first time here, I'm super glad to have you over. In this recipe video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make the perfect spicy baked tilapia. This tilapia is so rich, so tasty and it's so spicy as well. I can't wait to teach you guys the recipe so stay tuned, don't go anywhere. So here are all the ingredients you need to make this recipe. Don't forget to take screenshots. Let's get into it. So we're going to start off by making the marinade for the tilapia. So I have some garlic, ginger, I have some peppers, onions, I have fresh herbs as well, and some spring onions. Everything is in the ingredient list, so make sure you check it out. So I'm just going to add all of these ingredients into my chopper, and I'm going to add a little bit of oil to help with blending. I would also add in some spices, you guys would see that later on. But please, please, if you have a chopper, rather use a chopper than use a blender, um, you want to get a rough paste rather than a completely smooth paste but if you have a blender feel free to go with that and also for the types of chilies i used i used habanero peppers i used some um i used some birds i i chilies know the amount of heat you're able to handle and choose the kind of chilies you want to use okay but make sure to use the rest of the ingredients just as i've listed them and for the herbs as well feel free to experiment with any type of herbs that you like i used some sage rosemary thyme a little bit of basil and parsley but feel free to use the kind of herbs that you like so i kept blending or chopping in bits just because the blender cup or the chopper cup was too small um after i put in all of the fresh ingredients i added two tablespoons of soya pepper and then i also added in some shrimp powder you guys wouldn't see that here but i added shrimp powder if you don't have shrimp powder you can just use any seasoning cube that you like i also went in with some badia complete seasoning i absolutely love this seasoning so i added that added a little bit more oil to help with the blending now you do not want to add water at all to this mixture okay to this marinade use oil to get a smooth paste so our paste is finally done guys notice that i haven't added any salt or any black pepper to that and that's very intentional so i transferred this into a bowl and then i think i started working on my tilapia after Okay, so I'm going to be working with two huge tilapias today and I divided each one into two now. I had already cleaned my tilapia very well with lemon, baking soda, some vinegar, salt and water. I cleaned it thoroughly, okay? Make sure you clean your tilapia very, very well. So after I cut each one into two, I transferred them back into the roasting dish and I patted each one dry with kitchen tissue paper. That was also me cleaning up my work surface after I had cut up all the tilapia. So after putting them dry, what you want to do is to stop the tilapia. So I forgot to do that, but I did that at some point. I'm just saying because it should be what you do before you proceed to put oil, enough black pepper, and enough salt. Okay, so stop the tilapia with a knife. You guys will see me do that in a bit. And then I drizzled some um, oil on the tilapia, added enough salt and enough black pepper, and a little bit of lemon juice just for that, that lemon flavor. Okay, so add a little bit of lemon juice, black pepper, and salt after you've stopped the tilapia. Turn each one and then repeat on the other side. After each side of the tilapia is well coated with salt, black pepper and a little bit of lemon juice, we're going to go in with the marinade. Once again, you have to stop the tilapia before you do this, okay? So that the marinade would really get into the tilapia. You guys would see me do that in a bit, but make sure you do it before you start drizzling your tilapia with oil, 
um, salt and pepper. So this is what I'm talking about. Okay, it wouldn't be that visible that you've stabbed the tilapia, but that those incisions would be on the tilapia. So after that, add the marinade. A little goes a long way, and then use your hand to put the marinade everywhere on the tilapia. Like make sure that the tilapia has really soaked up the marinade. Once that's done, you just want to put in some of your sliced onions, sliced bell peppers. I use three different types of peppers or three different colors the red the green and the yellow ones but make sure you save more than half for later now i took the rest of my marinade and then i transferred it into this pot i didn't want to waste anything so i rinsed it off with water and then added it to the pot as well seasoned with black pepper and salt and just left that to fry After about an hour of marinating the tilapia, I finally drizzled it with some more salt and oil. Okay, when you put the, put the salt on it, you don't have to massage it into the tilapia, you just leave it on the surface and a little bit of oil and then I put it in the oven at 185 degrees Celsius preheated oven to bake for about 23 to 25 minutes. Now you can use the grill as well but you just have to make sure that you're checking it intermittently so it doesn't really burn. Okay, so this is like baked tilapia. That's why I'm not calling it grilled. But if you want that vibe, you can also set it to set your oven to grill. Now, this is the sauce that we had after we fried the marinade. And I'm just putting some on it after about 15 minutes. And I'm going to add the rest of my peppers and onions. Now, I used a lot of vegetables and it honestly made the, the tilapia develop a lot of flavor. And after about 25 minutes, everything is done, you just let it cool off and then you enjoy. So I actually packed some of the food for my little sister Megan. So I fried some yam. The yams were so good. I fried some yam, some plantains, and then I packed um, one tilapia for Megan. And then I packed a little bit of the yam as well. I don't think I showed you guys that part, but yeah. At this part, it was steaming hot. I was trying to take it out, but I waited a bit after this. Um, this was Megan's pack of tilapia. I just, you know, made it look pretty with a sprig of rosemary, thyme, and this was my food as well. I had it with the pepper sauce and it was so, so good. You guys need to try this recipe. Let me know when you try it and if you like it. Let me know in the comment section what other recipe you want to see me make. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Love you guys. Bye!